Hello from Amsterdam. In this video, I would like to present a couple of challenges urban water managers here in Amsterdam and in other locations of Delta cities have in their daily work. I would like to focus on the flood protection and the responsibility for dry feed, as well as on the protection of public health and a healthy urban environment. I will discuss the responsibilities and roles in the management of uh, the urban water system for each of the authorities. First, we will concentrate our attention to the protection for flooding. Flooding is caused by many different types of water. And depending on the type of water, authorities have a different responsibility in keeping our feet dry. In, in this case, we will concentrate on pluvial flooding, which is flooding by heavy rainfall, and groundwater flooding. Water authorities, like Waternet here in Amsterdam, have a responsibility in keeping our feet dry, but so do the residents and the property owners. Both have a responsibility in creating sufficient drainage capacity and sufficient storage capacity to protect us from flooding. All responsible parties pay special attention to the flood protection of vital and critical pieces of infrastructure. Think, for example, of pieces of the power network, main roads, mobile phone masts, hospitals and so on. It is of the utmost importance to avoid failure of these objects and networks, even under the most severe conditions. So the network and object owners and the managers of these networks have a high responsibility in providing this safety. This could be both a public and private organizations. Next, we will focus on a healthy urban environment. A healthy urban environment has to do with the ecological quality of the water as well as with public health. Centuries ago, the canals of Amsterdam were open sewers. But nowadays, good water quality is essential for the health of our residents and our visitors. And, of course, for the health of the aquatic and terrestrial ecosystem in the city. Biodiversity and health are therefore high on the agenda of Waternet and the city. Waternet, urban developers, builders, real estate owners and residents, the city and its water authorities all make strong efforts to avoid water pollution nowadays, wherever possible. For example, by selecting the cor uh, correct building materials, smart construction and minimizing the release of pollutants. Moreover, local treatment facilities are installed to avoid the spreading of pollutants over wider areas. Regular cleaning of streets and waterways, as well as regular dredging, helps remove remaining pollutants and reduce the pollution level of our rivers and canals. Citizens assist the water authority in monitoring the water quality so that action can be taken timely when health is at risk. And last but not least, the water authority of Amsterdam invests in improving the ecological recovery capacity and the biodiversity in the urban water system. For example, by constructing ecological embankments and other blue-green facilities that enhance water quality and health. Besides these challenges of flood protection and public health, new challenges are emerging, such as climate change effects, bringing extra risk for flooding, drought and heat stress. And also land subsidence is an important emerging issue in cities like Amsterdam. All these new challenges require extra skills and capacities for the water managers. Skills and capacities such as active urban groundwater management and land subsidence control. Water authorities like Waternet here in Amsterdam are continuously developing their skills and capacities to deal with these issues, to create a better urban environment 
and to protect our sheer existence. So now that we have seen some of the challenges the water authorities and the residents have here in Amsterdam to manage the urban water system, you might wonder how this is organized in your own hometown. How is the water system managed there? I challenge you to make a mind map of the water system, the responsible organizations, their tasks and responsibilities and the issues at stake to see how these are interrelated.